is horrible. That's the way it goes in the racing <laughs> world. I mean, Gosh. you know, Let, if you drive caution, a Ford. Caution flags out. Let's get Pam to clear this up. She doesn't count. She's married to a Ford driver. Or a Ford. Oh. See? No, she just, oh. she, she drives one. a Dodge. She if, drives a Dodge. I don't know if that's worse than a Ford or not. If we had one guy that drove a Mopar, <laughs> you know, it's been a lot of years. Anyway, uh, where's yeah. Warren when we need him? Uh, let me. I want to talk about that because I spent some time on the phone with Warren earlier today, and Warren is down in Arizona. Um, for those that haven't heard, he is. Uh, I don't want to say no longer part of Moxie because that's not true. He's always going to be a part of Moxie, but he is no longer on the show because Warren has signed a deal with Vanderwall Motorsports in conjunction with Bill McNally Motorsports, Bill McNally Racing. Um, he is working on the NASCAR team for Cody Vanderwall. Him and Jason Dickinson are working very close. You know, there's Jason Dickinson, obviously, um, from Richard yeah. Childress Racing, yeah. made the transition from North Carolina out to Arizona with uh, Vanderwall. And I think Vanderwalls are actually based out of Colorado, but Correct. the yeah. cars are maintained Tucson. Yeah. at a Tucson. And so that's his new nickname, Tucson. Tucson, yep. Tucson Simpson. <laughs> He's been all over the country <laughs> lately, though, from Tucson to North Carolina and back to California. I mean, he has been everywhere. I so can't keep track of him anymore. I know. I mean, that guy's got more airline miles than, than most airlines put together. But what a chance <laughs> and opportunity in life. You know, and, and that was, I think, Warren was kind of like feeling bad that he was leaving the show. I said, dude, with the opportunity that you've got, why would you feel bad? There isn't anybody here in any one of these chairs that wouldn't say you know, that would say no to that opportunity. That's where Warren's from. He's from the NASCAR world. He's very good at that. He understands those cars. Um, that's where his heart is. Yeah. And I, I'll tell you what, I'm proud as hell for him. Oh yeah. You know, I think I'm, he's I'm, listening. I, I guarantee you, he's in the shop right now with Jason Dickinson. They're listening. Um, I'll bet you. If he cared, he'd call. I'll him. bet you the. <laughs> well, and we'll talk with him. We'll talk with him. Um, I'll, I'll, we'll talk. I know he's listening right now because I've already gotten some hate mail. Uh, okay, um, we're gonna have. Actually, I'm gonna get Warren on the show tonight, and we'll yeah. probably have Jason Dickinson as well. We're gonna talk a little bit of NASCAR with those guys just to kind of see what they're up to. Because I, I said it. I said it. I'm I'm broadening the horizons <laughs> here. Settle down. <laughs> <coughs> um, Whoa! I, I will tell you this, Cody Vanderwall kid that that Warren is hooked up with. This kid's a real talent. I mean, he, he's just turned seventeen, finished ninth in points uh, on the K and N Pro West. They're going to run some Pro East this year. They're going to run tracks like uh, I understand Martinsville. They're going to run Richmond. They're going to run Dover. He can't run the big tracks yet. Daytona, Talladega. Right. Uh, and uh, the triangle one. What is that? Uh, Pocono. Pocono. Yeah, does, does he have like Atlanta. a certain the, a certain size because of his age? Now, wow. I think if you're under 18, NASCAR's got some restrictions. And we'll talk about that with Warren and Jason. We're going to have yeah. him on the show in a little while. Um, we're also going to have Mike Patterson, Moxie Mike, out of California. We're going to be talking with him later on in the show. Um, next week, for those listening, we will have an in-studio guest that we've already got wrapped up. We're not going to give away any names. But this is something, if you are a racer or associated with a race team, you want to listen to. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't give it away. Asphalt or dirt? Not saying a word. Straight line or oval? Not saying a word. Why are you being so indecisive right now? I'm not indecisive. I've decided I'm not going to let it out until it's go time next week. But this is a this is the show you don't want to miss next week. Is it John Force? No. Oh. Is Rick Hendrick coming? <laughs> Maybe. You said you're getting back into NASCAR. I just—I didn't ask. say I was getting back. That guy threw NASCAR. an NHRA in there. So. <laughs> hey, I, uh, straight line. Whoa, hang on. I missed. The straight I'm just line. letting everybody know if they want. Uh, just, just tune in next week. We have an in-studio guest that is some. Everybody. You will not regret. Right. You will not regret it. And it's going to be a good thing. Have we had this person on the air before? I'm not saying a word. Jeez, oh man, Joel. I want to know who it is. <laughs> I. I missed the. You memo. don't want to hear. Here's, here's Maybe what's you funny. Get an acting career. Here's what, <laughs> no, here's what's funny. I told Dom who's coming. Oh, you don't really don't know. <laughs> he doesn't have any idea. No, I have no idea. He doesn't have any idea. Whoa, trust time me. Out. So my third chair now. No, I'm, no, am I back to the third chair? No, no. no. I just oh want to see your reaction when this person walks in the studio. <laughs> You're not gonna know until it's go time. Oh, I don't oh know if gosh. I like this. Yes, I love it. So um, tonight, yeah, I think we've got a pretty good show just to kind of open up, kind of relax. I made fun of a couple people and, and hang said out. some things. Well, and that might be why you don't know who's coming. Oh, boy, I better bring my <laughs> mouth guard next week. <laughs> you might want some headgear, buddy. So wait, next week, does that mean we're back to our weekly schedule? We Well, 
the weekly schedule, yes, but that has changed. We have moved the show to Thursday nights. There was a couple of reasons for that. They're all beneficial to Northwest Dirt News. Um, so, Well, and the fans, too. Well, that's right. It, it kind of pushes everything out, gives us another day to prepare for the show. It's a little closer to the weekend. Get really excited about what's coming up. I know that uh, we have ruined uh, choir practice for um, – the old outlaw down there in Albany, you know, uh, Al Flora and Justin Evans and those oh, guys. Yeah. So their choir practice is going to be kind of silent unless they're playing last week's episode. And Monty, too. Monty. Yeah, I don't think Monty could care two less, you know, two bits less. But, um, you know. <laughs> it's going to be fun. The Thursday night works out good for a lot of people. It does. The Amco team, they work on their cars t- uh, Tuesdays and Thursday nights. They're excited about that. They get to listen to the show. Fantastic. You know, yeah. I think, and here's the thing. I was, you guys know, I was a little worried about moving the show to Thursday night. I was. And you guys are like, no, no, it'll be a good thing. It'll be a good thing. And um, I, I hem and hawed about it for a couple months, didn't I? A couple months. I'll tell you when I made the decision to move it to Thursday nights. Last night? No, it was last week. I got a little time to sit back, relax. I, I don't want to hear about was it. Was it on a I, beach in, I, no, stop. in Hawaii? It was. <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. And, Joel, I had a Mai Tai in my hand. That's oh, fine. I don't drink. My goodness. You would drink these. I used to. I Maybe that, you should. Had that Mai Tai. And Sandy and I were sitting there talking, and, and <clears throat> it was 80 to 84 degrees every day. And you said to yourself, self, let's make it Thursday night. I, I, well... <laughs> I had a little encouragement <laughs> between you guys, and but no, it was all your idea, Corey. It, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't was my all I, your I, idea. I thought it. about it, but I, we talked about it as a group. But I, I want to get the fans' reaction. I wanna, the people that are listening, I think it's a good thing. I think it'll be better for everybody in the long run. Um, I will talk about Hawaii. I do want to tell you guys one thing that happened. Did you go to the dirt track? No, we didn't go to Maui. <clears throat> we went to the Big Island. We were there's in Kona. a dirt track there for real. Paradise yeah. Speedway. Oh wow. Well, and then there's uh, Central Maui. Well, the one you fly in and see is is <clears throat> Paradise up by the airport. <clears throat> um, so check this out. This is really cool, and I, I mean, you know, when you swim with dolphins and you get close to them, we did, we've done all that. Um, one thing, <laughs> one thing we did do was, and this is this is so crazy. But when you haven't seen anything like it, it's pretty cool. We go to Costco. Costco and Kona is up on the hill. You know, it's halfway. It's about a 700-foot elevation. We, we get our shop, and we're coming down the hill, and we stop at the stoplight, and it tees up to the highway. And where you're at the tee, you're staring straight out over the ocean. And the ocean's probably, I'm going to say, I don't know, maybe an eighth of a mile off of the highway where we're at that particular point on the beach line. So Sandy and I are sitting there at the stoplight, and we're just kind of overlooking the ocean, you know. It's kind of not really talking. And out of nowhere, this huge whale breaches. <sighs> Right in front of us goes up and comes down and makes this huge splash. I mean, directly right in front of where we were parked, and it was it was pretty cool to see that. Um, I've never seen anything like that. And when you get that close, even that far away, you get that close, you realize how big those things are. I thought that was really cool. Two days later, we have some friends that live on the island. They were out in the bay on their boat when a whale I don't know what kind it is breaches. About 40 feet off the bow of their boat goes up and lands and comes down and splashes. They had their their phone running and just happened to catch it. The water, the force off that hit the person holding the camera and blew them on their backside in the boat. I mean, it's crazy. It they, was. They have a lot of force. Uh, I know in uh, California, you'd see that a lot, you know, off the coast, but you never get close enough to actually see like right. you're saying. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Pretty cool experience, but that and the sunshine and all the good food and you know you guys should have been there. Next time we'll do yeah we'll, we'll do it all next time. Forgot summer. to book my ticket, so yeah we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that next year. We'll do it. <laughs> so before we get too far too much farther on the show, I want to take our first commercial break, get things set up, and then we'll hit the show really hard. Um, we've got a lot of action here already on the Swears Trucking chat line from Larry Baker and Roger Snyder. You know the regulars, Jeremy Means, Jerry Hughes who is actually across the street over here at the oh. Corvallis. He's a car salesman for Toyota and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. He's actually over there listening and making uh, brain brain damage jokes. That you, know, nice. you, you can check those out if you tune in on the Swear Trucking chat line. You can read them. <laughs> He's a nut. I love Jerry. We sold cars for a long time. Great guy. Uh, I'll tell you right now, he is... Uh, I couldn't picture you a car salesman. Oh, that's why I quit selling cars. That was sarcastic. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go to our first commercial. We're going to come right back here in about, I don't know, three and a half minutes. Stick around. We'll be right back from the Amco Total Car Care Studio here in Corvallis with more Northwest Dirt News on Spreaker Radio. Do you, Do you wake, wake up, up in the morning, morning in a slump? slump? Looking, Looking for, for a new, new career, career or change, change of pace? pace? Well, let, let Northwest, Northwest Trucking Academy, Academy be your source. source. Dave, Dave Stahl and his, his team of highly experienced, experienced instructors will give you the skills you need. need. Whether, Whether you, you have, have no idea, idea what the brake pedal, pedal is, is, or you, or just, you just need a refresher, refresher course. course. Northwest, Northwest Trucking Academy, Academy will give you a customized training program to meet your needs. In as little as four weeks, you can be on your way across the country with your new career. Located, Located on, on Highway 99, 99 in Tangent, Oregon, Oregon Northwest Truck Academy, Academy will get you ready, ready for a new fast-paced and highly rewarding, rewarding career. career. Give, Give them a call, call at 541-248-3461 or look, or look them, them up online at nwtruckingacademy.com. Classes start the first Monday of every month, and don't forget to use promo code MOXIE. That's M-O-X-I-E, and receive $100 off your tuition. Jetstream Aqua Massage, located in the Heritage Mall, is your answer for the relaxation you've been looking for. Our massage beds will help you with stress, anxiety, increase circulation, muscle tension, improve sleep, pain reduction, decrease muscle spasms, increase your range of motion, and help with the everyday aches and pains of life. And at only $1 per minute, we'll save you time and money. 20 minutes in one of our machines is equal to one hour of traditional massage. We have gift certificates available for the perfect stocking stuffers. All 10 units are on sale now, and don't forget your bio freeze. Jetstream Aqua Massage. It's not just a massage, it's an experience. Corvallis, Corvallis, Newport, Newport Lebanon. Lebanon. Let's, Let's put, put the, the care, care back, back into car, car care. care. Your locally owned Corvallis, Corvallis Newport, Newport, and now Lebanon, Lebanon Amco Total, Total Car Care is here to serve all of your vehicle's needs from transmissions to tune-ups and, and everything, everything in between. People, People who know go to Amco. Amco. For, more For more than 50, 50 years, Amco has built a legacy of trust and expertise. And expertise. Our Corvallis, Corvallis, Newport, and Lebanon service service centers employ employ the latest latest technology and and expert technicians who will diagnose your repair and fix it right the first time. Then... Back, back with a nationwide, nationwide warranty. warranty. This, this is, is why Amco has become one of the most trusted names in transmissions and, and is one of the fastest growing names in total car care. care. Check, check engine, engine light on, on. We'll, check we'll check it for free. free. Have, Have a classic, classic. We, we service them, them as well. well. If you've been, if you've been to the, the track, track, you've seen Team Amco. Amco. We're, here We're here to service all of your car care needs. Our Corvallis store has held the prestigious presidential award two years in a row, so we encourage you to check out our online reviews. You will see our focus is customer service and quality repairs. You can can find find us on the the web or call us, 541-757-1223 or 1-800-GO-AMCO. Now, now, back, back to Northwest, Northwest Dirt News from the Amco Total Car Care Studio in Corvallis, Oregon, live on Spreaker Radio. Okay, I need to know if you guys had an echo out there. I didn't hear an echo. I didn't, but we're getting reports from Sandy. 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 That I think there was an echo. Echo. Okay. Got it fixed. All right, so back in action here, uh, Northwest Dirt News. Okay, man, the, the Swears Trucking chat line is just blowing up tonight. Um, what Jeremy means says yes. I don't get it. I mean, are we still echoing? Shouldn't be. Okay, so we're back in action. Uh, we've got a long season ahead of us from here on out. We're going to be, it's go time. I'm telling you guys right now, I've got a couple things in the make with uh, I, I finalizing that Moxie Media and Promotions is going to the next level. I'll tell you that. We've got a lot of opportunity ahead of us, um, exciting things that we are now, that we can do. <laughs> I know who that is. I'll bet you I know who that is. But a lot of exciting things we can do. Go ahead and answer that. Northwest Dirt News. Hey, this is Warren. What's happening? Warren, what's going on, bud? I was oh hoping you were going to call word. it. It's Grandpa. Tucson. <laughs> what's up, buddy? Grandpa. Here's Kitty Kitty. 
<laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like you're in the shop. Yeah, no, we're we're uh, just eating dinner ourselves, and uh, Vanderwalls are eating dinner. I got them on hold. I'm going to try to merge our calls here and and get Cody and Rudy on here as well. Fantastic. Okay. So let me. Ask-